Welcome back to our series exploring the groundbreaking inventions that have shaped our modern world. In our last episode, we delved into the remarkable creation of the first true battery in 1800 by Alessandro Volta. We saw how Volta's innovation sparked a revolution in the way we harness and use electricity, laying the foundation for countless technological advancements. Today, we're dialing back to 1807, to a time when nightfall meant a world plunged in darkness. Get ready to be dazzled by a story of genius and brilliance, the invention of gaslighting by William Murdoch. But here's the catch, it's not just about lighting up streets and homes. There's a surprising twist to this tale that connects Murdoch's glowing invention to Volta's electrifying battery, a link so unexpected, it might just leave you in awe. Join us as we explore how William Murdoch's invention not only brightened streets and homes but also marked the beginning of the gas industry, playing a crucial role in the urbanization and modernization of cities. Stay tuned as we uncover the story of gaslighting, its impact on society, and how it paved the way for future innovations in lighting and energy consumption. Hit that like button, share with friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more jaw-dropping tales from the annals of innovation. Let's illuminate the past and discover the surprising connections that led us into our bright, electrified future. William Murdoch, born on August 21, 1754, in Bellow Mill, Luger, Ayrshire, Scotland, was a figure whose contributions have significantly shaped the modern world, yet his name often goes unrecognized. The son of John and Agnes Murdoch, William was one of seven children in a family where ingenuity and a practical approach to problems were highly valued. This environment nurtured his innate mechanical aptitude, which would later propel him into the forefront of industrial innovation. Murdoch's education, though basic, was typical for his time. It provided him with the foundational knowledge upon which he built his understanding of mechanics and engineering. His fascination with these subjects was apparent from an early age, as he frequently helped his father in mill work, demonstrating a keen interest in machinery and its workings. In 1777, a pivotal moment came when the young Murdoch, demonstrating remarkable determination, traveled approximately 300 miles on foot to Birmingham, England. There, he joined Bolton & Watt, a company spearheading advancements in steam engine technology. Working under the tutelage of James Watt and Matthew Bolton, Murdoch quickly established himself as a valuable asset to the firm. His contributions to improving steam engine designs, particularly the development of the sun and planet gear, were significant. Before his famous invention of gaslighting, Murdoch's career was marked by a series of engineering and mechanical innovations. His work at Bolton and Watt allowed him to delve deeply into the mechanics of steam engines, contributing to their evolution and efficiency. It was during the late 1790s that Murdoch's fascination with the potential of coal gas began. His experiments with coal gas, initially driven by curiosity, laid the foundation for what would become his most celebrated invention. In 1785, Murdoch married Mary Moore, and together they had several children. While details of his personal life during these years are sparse, it's evident that his professional life was rich with creativity and innovation. William Murdoch's story is one of relentless pursuit and passion for engineering and innovation. From the small village of Luger in Scotland to becoming a key figure in one of England's most significant engineering firms, Murdoch's journey is not just a testament to his skills but also to his undying curiosity and inventiveness. His early experiments and innovations set the stage for his development of gaslighting, which would forever change the way the world was illuminated, ushering in a new era of urban modernization and laying the groundwork for future advancements in energy and lighting technology. Murdoch's contributions, though not as widely celebrated as some of his contemporaries, have left an indelible mark on the world. His legacy lives on, not just in the flickering flames of gas lamps that once lit the streets but in the spirit of innovation and determination he embodied throughout his life. William Murdoch's gaslighting wasn't merely an incremental improvement over existing lighting methods. It was a revolutionary leap that redefined how we illuminate our world. To appreciate the genius of his invention, it's crucial to delve deeper into how it worked and why it represented such a significant innovation. How gaslighting worked, a closer look. The process began with coal gasification, where coal was heated in an airtight oven. 
This heating broke down the coal into various components, notably producing a flammable gas mixture primarily composed of methane, hydrogen, and carbon monoxide. The raw gas from coal contained impurities detrimental to both the quality of light and safety. Murdoch developed methods to remove these impurities, including ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, and coal tar, ensuring the gas burned cleanly and brightly. Storing and distributing the purified gas presented a significant challenge. Murdoch ingeniously used a network of iron pipes, a novel idea at the time, to transport the gas from the production site to the point of use. This network laid the foundation for modern urban gas distribution systems. The gas was released through burners, where it was ignited to produce a steady flame. These burners were designed to control the flow of gas, allowing for consistent and manageable lighting, a stark contrast to the flickering and sometimes hazardous flames of oil lamps and candles. Why was Murdoch's gas lighting a groundbreaking innovation? Gas lighting provided a much brighter and more reliable light source than oil lamps or candles. This reliability transformed working and social hours, extending activities into the evening and improving public safety on streets. The implementation of gas lighting played a vital role in urban development and industrialization. It allowed factories to operate longer hours and made city streets safer at night, contributing to the economic and social dynamism of urban centers. Murdoch's invention wasn't just about lighting, it catalyzed the birth of the gas industry. For the first time, there was a need for large-scale gas production, purification, storage, and distribution systems. This led to the establishment of gas companies and the growth of a new sector in the economy. Compared to oil lamps, which emitted soot and strong odors, gas lighting was cleaner and more environmentally friendly. Although not entirely free from environmental impacts, it was a significant improvement over the existing methods of the time. Murdoch's work laid the groundwork for future developments in lighting technology. It opened the door to the use of different gases and eventually to the development of the electric light bulb. The gas distribution networks established for lighting were later adapted for heating and cooking, further transforming domestic life. William Murdoch's gas lighting was a remarkable innovation that extended beyond the simple concept of illumination. It was a comprehensive system that involved gas production, purification, storage, and distribution, coupled with the design of efficient burners. This system not only brought a new light into homes and streets but also spurred the development of the gas industry, revolutionized urban infrastructure, and paved the way for future technological advancements. Murdoch's contribution, therefore, lies not just in the brightness of the gas flame but in the myriad ways it illuminated the path towards a modern, industrially advanced society. The invention of gaslighting was not just a pivotal moment in the annals of technological history, it also had a profound impact on the life of its inventor, William Murdoch. His journey following this groundbreaking innovation saw both professional triumphs and the challenges of a pioneer in a rapidly evolving industrial landscape. Following his success with gaslighting, Murdoch gained considerable recognition as an innovative engineer. However, this period was not without challenges. There was initial skepticism about the safety and practicality of gaslighting, which Murdoch had to overcome through demonstrations and improvements in his system. Murdoch continued his work with Bolton and Watt, the engineering firm where he had made his revolutionary invention. His role in the firm became increasingly significant, as he was instrumental in implementing and improving gaslighting systems. Murdoch played a key role in the spread of gaslighting, both in Britain and internationally. He was involved in setting up gaslighting in factories, mills, and public spaces, demonstrating its utility and efficiency. Apart from gaslighting, Murdoch continued to work on various other projects and innovations. He remained an active and inventive engineer, contributing to improvements in steam engine designs and other mechanical devices. During his lifetime, Murdoch's work began to receive the recognition it deserved. He was highly regarded by his peers for his innovative spirit and his contributions to engineering. While Murdoch did not receive the widespread fame of some of his contemporaries, he was awarded and honored for his contributions. This recognition, however, 
was somewhat limited compared to the far-reaching impact of his invention. He retired from Bolton and Watt in the 1830s, spending his later years in relative quiet. He continued to tinker and invent, but his pace of work slowed down. William Murdoch passed away on November 15, 1839. After his death, his contributions, particularly in gaslighting, began to be more widely recognized. He was posthumously acknowledged as a pioneer whose work laid the foundations for the modern gas industry. Murdoch's legacy is seen in the way his invention transformed urban life. Gaslighting led to safer, more vibrant cities and set the stage for modern urban infrastructure. His innovative spirit and contributions to engineering continue to be celebrated, especially in his native Scotland. In summary, the invention of gaslighting significantly altered the course of William Murdoch's life. While it brought him professional recognition and solidified his status as an innovative engineer, the full extent of his impact was only truly recognized posthumously. Murdoch's life post-invention was marked by continued innovation and professional contributions, though he did not achieve celebrity status during his lifetime. His legacy, embodied in the gas-lit streets and the dawn of the gas industry, remains a testament to his ingenuity and foresight. And that brings us to the end of today's journey through history, exploring the remarkable impact of William Murdoch's gaslighting. We've seen how this ingenious invention not only lit the streets of the 19th century but also sparked a series of innovations that continue to influence our lives today. Murdoch's legacy is a testament to how a single idea can illuminate the path towards a brighter, more advanced society. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the story of gaslighting and its far-reaching effects, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating historical explorations. Coming up in our next episode, we'll be opening the lid on another groundbreaking invention that changed the way we store food, the tin can. Invented in 1810 by Peter Durand, this seemingly simple invention had a profound impact on food preservation, global trade, and even exploration. So, stay tuned as we uncover the story of the tin can and its remarkable influence on our daily lives. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of our journey through the innovations that shaped our world. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Until next time, keep exploring the past to understand the future.